Hello everyone, today we are going to be building Riley's room from Inside Out 2. This is a good layout. I know it may kind of seem like it's a little bit big. I like them chunky. Let's quickly add in a floor. If I take this, it doesn't look too bad, except from the giant gap here. Let's extend this a little bit all the way up. Okay. Let's just copy paste this over here. And now we just need to add this slanted roof on the other side. So if this was at the correct angle, it'll be going up this much. However, right now it is not. Seems like the roof on this room does actually come to a point, which no! means I have to do some more. Finally, we are done with the roof. That was a pain. But now we can get to the fun part where I can finally decorate, starting with Riley's window. I guess I could just use this one and resize it, save some money because all those basic shapes work. Let's add a little windowsill. And let's also add ledge. Just adding some lights on the roof. I think that the best part to start in Riley's room would be the desk. So Riley's desk kind of looks like this one, but it's bigger. Well, I guess, okay, no, that's not cutting it. I'm gonna be honest, none of these tables really look like Riley's desk. Guys, I have decided that I'm going to build a custom desk. I am loving this transform tool, by the way. Okay, so these will be the legs of our table. Let's add them in here, over here. And then we're going to add the tabletop underneath the table, just like so. Here's our desk and let's find a chair that matches. I am not gonna make a custom chair, guys. I'm thinking it's this one. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't really know what that is. First, let's add a lamp. Then we'll add Riley's laptop for her schoolwork now that she is a teenager. When I zoom in, there seems to be quite a lot of things. Nail polish, books, little box. I didn't know I could make this bigger. Okay, we have my attempt at an R. So, we only have a kid's bean bag here. So instead of that, I'm gonna add in this circular seat and just add some extra pillows. On here, we also have a poster. This is working, I'm a genius. I bet everyone does this already. That looks quite accurate. I think it's not possible to add the stars to the walls. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did with this. However, I'm gonna use a decal. So guys, you're going to have to trust the process on this one because right now it was looking very, very odd. But trust me, once I add these decals in, it's gonna look a lot better. I think the closest mirror to the one in the picture is this one, but it's a bit too small. Ooh, I'm going to attempt to uh, line this whole thing in structurals. It's gonna look a bit odd. Okay, so I seem to have forgotten something that there is supposed to be a little bookshelf behind here and I'm going to like so, okay, and then somehow we're going to get a little bookshelf. Hmm, guys, this might prove a little difficult, unless I just, <laughs> unless I just, oh, hey, why is that like accurate? <laughs> hey, that's perfect. And over there. So these decals are just for the clothing scattered across the floor. Then we just need to get a few last touches. And then this side, although it looks a bit messy, trust me, when I color it all in, it's gonna look epic. Okay. This side of the room is finished. So let's go and do this side before we go on to do the bed area. Why don't they have like the wall trim I want? Guys, I completely forgot I added this fake wall here. I can't add wall trims over here. I'm gonna have to like make my own wall trims. Yeah, that, that's fine. This is going to take a while. Okay, so that is the wall trims done. Please don't ask me how long it took. In the middle of the room, there is a carpet. Hold on. I think this bit is from an older picture, which means, uh, and I don't think it actually there anymore, so I'm just going to leave it. Okay, I think I'm going to build a custom headboard. 
two single beds. Okay, that looks fine. Add in the bedside table, which eerily looks almost exactly like this one. But just purple. Then we're gonna add some more pictures, some more lights. And then there's more stars on this wall. So we're gonna have to do this whole thing all over again. Yay! Let's add in like it like this. So the last section of the room, which doesn't really get shown that much in the movie is this part. I do kind of have what it looked like in the old video where it was like a, some drawers and it has the lamp that she moved over there. So I'm going to decorate it a little bit differently and then I'm gonna like, I don't know, improvise. I don't really know what to put over there because I literally haven't seen it. Maybe I can put the dresser over here. Oh wait, I missed the back of the bed. Oh, wow, there we go. Oh no, that's not right. There we go. Oh gosh, this whole place is looking so chaotic. Guys, guys, please trust the process. So I'm just kind of improvising in this bit because I honestly don't know what's over here. <gasps> oh my gosh, I just realized. You see this boomerang? Oh, it's kind of a bit big, but it looks like it could be a hockey racket, don't you think? I don't know, should I just like, should I put the boomerang on the wall somewhere? I'll put the boomerang over. Okay, great. You're probably bored of my voice by this point, so I'm gonna give you a little montage as I color the whole build. And then I'll give you a tour with all the decals replaced. Thank you so much for watching guys oh gosh my uh, moods are low let's just ignore that but this is Riley's room I tried my best honestly it's kind of hard to do this in uh, in Roblox yes these the color of the stars are very very bright yellow but I had to find it off the internet and obviously the decals aren't exactly right and there's no lights on the R which is pretty sad but I think it's pretty accurate and uh, if you want to see um, similar videos to this comment it down below or if you have any other ideas please feel free to comment those too anyways I will see you guys next time oh don't look at the outside anyways bye